Yes, guys, we've got some huge news and updates regarding Aptos, how I think the price will develop in the coming hours, days, and weeks. We're also going to be going through the opinion of some top traders regarding the Aptos price and the predictions, and also some other low cap altcoin alternatives. As of course, Aptos is a huge, it's got a really large market cap. We're looking at alternatives and also telling you about all the insights and news about Aptos and would I think if it's a good decision to buy Aptos and hold or even short or actually long. I'll be telling you all that in this video, but before we get actually get into it, please remember nothing's financial advice. Do your own research. And with that out of the way, now let's get right into this. Now, Aptos at the moment has gone down from yesterday. It saw a decrease of 7%. Of course, yesterday we were sitting at $9 and at the moment it's gone down to $8. The price is safe to say it is extremely volatile, but we all expected it. We obviously seen the huge jump from the beginning, but the only bullish news we actually have about Aptos, well, we have two bits of bullish news. First bullish news is the fact that they have been listed in all, well, most major, well, actually, you know what? I'll just say it, all major exchanges because that literally has been the case from Binance, Yobi, FTX, Qcoin, FTX, BFNX, Kraken, Gate.io, OKX, all major exchanges, these guys have already been listed in. You're able to trade short and long this token already. And it's obviously a massive, massive green light for this token. It's definitely bullish news. Another bullish news that we do we have seen is the fact they have their own NFT marketplaces. Now, of course, the main NFT marketplace for Aptos at the moment is Topaz, but there has been over 10, 20 different NFT marketplaces built already. And this is the largest one at the moment. We've also got some massive um, wallets, um, DeFi wallets made for Aptos already to buy and sell these NFTs. I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing some altcoins being dropped on Aptos as they do leech off this hype. But I definitely do think this is the only bit of bullish news we actually have. Of course, if you go over to the Aptos Twitter account, we have seen some tweets of them really talking about how they have managed to hit a certain amount of transaction per seconds, but they've only reached the amount of 2,000, 2,500, which don't get me wrong, it's good, it's decent, but if you compare it to the promised amount, it's nowhere near as near as what it's promised. Remember that these guys have been averaging about 15 to 20 max, I would say, TPS, right? What I'm going to say and be honest with you here, is that the TPS is nowhere near as promised. It's just about the same as Ethereum and TPS being transaction per second. And the fact they are bragging about, you know, transaction per second reaching 2000 really shows that there's still a lot of work to be done. And yes, this is, in my opinion, is bearish news. Sure, they can hit 2000, 2500, but the promised amount was so much more higher. And yeah, they haven't reached that and they are averaging around here. You can see really close to the 10 to 14 mark. I'm sure, I guess they have increased in the last couple of hours, but even then, until we actually see the improvements made, which is, might take a couple months, I definitely think that it's just going to be really bearish, right? The bullish news will be once they actually consistently are getting thousands of TP, um, T, 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 flash per seconds, and then even more later on. So I definitely think there's got to be some changes made here, but they have mentioned that the actual network is scalable. So they obviously can scale, they can make changes. And of course, they have launched at such a time where they have time. You can actually see here over at the chart that, you know, they've launched in the bear market. Of course, they're launching at a point where they will actually have time until the bull market to learn and develop and scale this network. You've got to remember that tokens like Solana have had a lot of problems themselves. A lot of these layer ones that have tried to do what Aptos is trying to do themselves have already faced a lot of problems. And Aptos is actually... have had time to learn from it, right? Because the launch has it literally just happened a couple of days ago. So with that being said, that's obviously a really green flag. But of course, for the short term, that's not a really green flag. For the long term, it definitely is. It's definitely bullish news. Well, bullish insight, I guess, to that. But now I do want to look at can the Aptos NFT scene compete with Ethereum's and will the actual hype live up? Shout out to Crypto Briefing for this article and let's get into it. So key takeaways, three NFT marketplaces are competing for trading volume on Aptos despite the blockchain only launching last week. And this is true and this is huge, right? Because this had a lot of traders from Solana and Ethereum NFTs starting to trade on Aptos. I've personally seen Twitter accounts talking about how they switched over from Solana to Aptos. And yes, that is extremely bullish news for Aptos and, to and Aptos NFTs. The leading platform is Topaz, the one I've talked about, and they made over $1.8 million in trading volume in about five days, which is ridiculous. And the NFT boom is unlikely to be sustain unsustainable. However, as it seems to be mostly based on hype and not quality of projects, as the quality of project is terrible. And if you go over to Topaz, 
you know the highest the largest market cap nft right now was a free mint right it was, this was completely free and sure it might be on a floor price of 94 topaz but i mean aptos but even then the art is mid you know there's not much utility it is extremely extremely mediocre if you compare it to some ethereum and solana nfts so the price in my opinion doesn't really speak for itself at this moment and i would definitely agree with the fact that it's just built up hype at this moment so i wouldn't exactly look at this and be bullish for the short for the long term for the short term sure but even then i wouldn't be bullish on the short term on the token itself mostly on the nfts they talk about how the emerging nft market launched on october 17th after is a proof of stake layer one blockchain of course we do know this and they have of course advertised the 100,000 transaction per second which they're nowhere near um sort of met you know 14 tps is far off that but i'm sure they are showing progress already with the 2000 tps now among the um, competing platforms topaz is the largest one and they have a trading volume of 82,000 apt 779,000 at just today's prices to 1200 apt 11,400 across its 20 largest collections which obviously is really really big now what's in store for aptos nfts but well, healthy trading volume are a good sign for the emerging aptos nft scene the metric doesn't quite tell the whole story so far only a few unique collection have seen trading volumes translate into price gains now with that being said this is really important as if there's any of you buying into the hype of aptos nfts i mean sure you can have it a go you can have a look about but I really do think it's going to be extremely short term. And if you are going to be buying these NFTs, remember, this is not financial advice, my personal opinion. I do think that you're going to see a lot of dumps really, really quick, right? Like a lot of these NFTs are going to be built. They're going to be hyped up and then they're going to die off really fast, especially with the state of the token itself. A lot of people that are trading these NFTs, from what I've heard, are not even holding the Aptos token. After trading it, because of the uncertainty with this token, they are trading it right into a stablecoin, which is fair enough. But I'm just letting you know, it's extremely bullish and bearish for Aptos at the moment. Now, do you want also want to talk about the traders' Apto price predictions? And yeah, let's get into it and also be telling you about some low cap altcoin alternatives. Now, Aptos price predictions, the controversial, let me close that, the controversial new layer one blockchain APT token was listed on every major crypto exchange on October 19th, following a private sale from venture capital investors. After its day one pump to around $17 to $30, depending on the exchange, the Binance APT to USDT pay wicked as high as hundred dollars right this is huge but the path was priced and crashed to a low of approximately six dollars eighty which we have seen and at the moment of course they are on about nine dollars cold blooded shiller nothing goes down in straight line however on october 21st cold blooded shill who has 172,000 followers predicted up to shorts piling in and will lead to a short squeeze and blow off top for the apt price before it dies which again we have seen great prediction from your boy cold blooded shiller and you know this was obviously a great call you can see here salsa tequila who has 168k followers also predicted an up to short squeeze earlier today at around nine dollar thirty area posting upon interest from coin Conalyze, he noticed that aptos price had railed 33 percent until funding rates were negative to open interest on apt is up to 160 million dollars in the past day meanwhile price increased more than 33 percent while funding rates are ma uh, maximum negative people are paying 0 0.75 percent every eight hours on bybit to short the perps and um, perps and the uh, shorts are sweating bulls and the probability of a short squeeze increases now i have no positions in aptos i mean i've seen people go bankrupt shorting altcoins rallies through 2018 although this is thing will likely tend to go towards zero in the long term i don't have edge in short term direction of course these are big calls about aptos saying it will go to zero but i definitely see where it's coming from we've seen this before we've seen a lot of this hype before with different tokens and really it's translated to near to nothing other than losses and um last time we got crypto mocho who he, he's talking about here about taking profit um on uh apt i mean actually see here how his price developed and his tweets as well again if you want to check out this article it will be in the description but that does bring us to the end of this video hopefully you guys have enjoyed it I had as much info as possible in this 10 minute mark in the next video i'll be showing you my price prediction and how i think this price will develop in the coming months and possible year or two and giving you more of a long-term price prediction and also giving you some more news if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe and hit the bell i'll see you guys next time it's been your way crypto maxi peace